Don't be scared. pumpkin crafting. I found this really cool tutorial on YouTube. It's called like Easy Rotten uh, Pumpkins. It's by this guy on YouTube that goes by. His channel name is Monster Tutorials and he does a bunch of really fun Halloween stuff and I just found him super in love. I subscribed, you should too. And the tutorial I'm gonna sort of follow is called, yeah, Easy Rotten Pumpkins Tutorial. I'm gonna do mine a little bit differently than he does his. He uses a heat gun, I'm gonna use a Mod Podge, so I'm gonna see how that works out for me. But I will let you know throughout the video how it turns out. But yeah, I just think these rotten pumpkins look so cool and so sick, and I think they're gonna look really cool as decor items for my Halloween party, so I really wanted to jump on this. Now, I went to Michael's and got a bunch of different sized pumpkins, and um, they were buy one, get one free, so I bought four. And these are what the other two look like. These guys are just regular regular. And yeah, I think we'll just kind of hop right into it, see how it goes, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look up some pumpkin designs that I wanna draw on these bad boys. And I will be using a permanent marker to do that. I'm just gonna kind of search the web, like jack-o'-lantern faces, kind of see what pops out on, at me, and I wanna kind of do a different face on each pumpkin, so once I'm done that, I will come back and check in with you guys. So I've sketched out different faces in silver on each of my pumpkins. Kinda hard to see because of the silver or not. I didn't have a black permanent marker, so everyone bear with me. Kind of gave them a little bit different eyes, a little bit different face, some circular, some angular, all that good stuff. Now I'm gonna get my boyfriend to use a box cutter to kind of like chisel out the top layer of these foamy pumpkins right where I've put the eyes in the mouth. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a uh, box cutter and go around the outlines that I created for the faces. You don't need to cut it that deep because really you just want that top layer um, you just want to cut through that top layer so that you can peel it off to the styrofoam that's underneath. And so here I'm just using some uh, pliers to pull off that top layer that we were talking about. I don't know if it's plastic or like a thick paint. I don't know what it is, but I'm just using that to peel it off. And as you can see, the little like spongy styrofoam underneath. And then I'm also going to take the pliers and make a bunch of divots in this foam. Um, just to kind of give that decayed look. Try not to make it too, like make it look natural. Try not to make it look too man-made or else it kind of kills the effect. So make sure it's like uneven and very random. Try not to do it in a pattern or anything like that. And here's what they all look like once I've peeled off their faces and um, plucked out their insides basically. Um, I love how these turned out. I think they look so cool. So now I'm just gonna take some saran wrap and I use Mod Podge over the whole pumpkin just to help the saran wrap stick because I got just regular old saran wrap. And once I lay it down on the Mod Podge, then it's got like a bit of an adhesive to stick to and then I hit it with um, my hair dryer just to kind of curl the edges and melt the edges down kind of into the pumpkin. If you really wanna melt the edges, you should get a a heating gun? A heat gun? That doesn't sound right. Maybe. Maybe that's what I'm looking for. Um, yeah, just use a, just get an actual heat gun to do it because a blow dryer just doesn't get hot enough. But for the purposes that I wanted it for, it worked just fine. So yeah, I'm just using like an old shitty brush and applying it to the pumpkin, putting the saran wrap on top, and then applying more Mod Podge on top of the saran wrap, and then hitting that with some heat just to dry it and crinkle the saran wrap and all that good stuff to get that really decayed look. I found that if I poked holes in the saran wrap too before applying it, it really helped because then there were like uneven sections and sections where the pumpkin was like poking through and I think it just made it look a lot better. You can see here the saran wrap like starting to move and sink into the pumpkin, it's really cool. 
And then I did use the box cutter just to kind of cut in the indents just so that it didn't look like the pumpkin was like wrapped in saran wrap so that it kind of sunk in where it was supposed to and jutted out where it was supposed to. So here I'm just like poking holes with my nails through the saran wrap before I apply it to the pumpkin. Also don't put saran wrap over the eyes or the mouth, like don't, if you do like poke it out or push it in because if you leave it over top of the mouth then when you spray paint it you can't see your eyes or your mouth anymore because it's just like a flat saran wrap surface so that's just like a heads up for you guys. And trust me, the first pumpkin will take you probably like 15 minutes to do and then the rest are gonna take like five, 10 minutes. Like it goes really fast after that. Once you find your groove. And here's what the pumpkins look like when they're all done. The Mod Podge is still drying and I let mine dry overnight, but you don't have to. You could just leave them for like an hour or two and then they'd be good to go, but. So yeah, this is what they turned out as. The Mod Podge is still drying, but I'm not really worried about that because we're about to spray paint them in the next clip. Looking spooky. So I just used some black spray paint and I'm spraying into the eyes and the mouth at a couple different angles and then I'm gonna go in with a paper towel and just dab that off. You don't want to swipe it or it's gonna start looking like paint streaky over your pumpkin and that's not what you want. You just want to dab off the extra paint so that it kind of leaves this like dark wash over your pumpkin because you don't want a black pumpkin you just want it really dark and creepy and decrepit. And so that's all I'm doing here is just spraying it, wiping it with paper towel or dabbing it, sorry, with paper towel, and then repeating where I think it needs it. Like I said previously, I'm just taking a box cutter now and like cutting out any saran wrap that's like over the mouth or the eyes so that I can still spray paint into those like ripped out styrofoam sections that we created just to give it that like depth into the pumpkin that's rotting. And then again, just dabbing it with paper towel. You will get dirty for this, so don't wear nice clothing. And if you're doing it on a surface you care about, make sure to put down, uh, what's it called? No, it's not a canvas, it's a like a drop cloth. That's the word I'm looking for. And so this is what the pumpkins look like with just the black spray paint over them. And in monster tutorials, he does say you can stop here if you want, but he takes it to a next step and adds more mold. And I think that they weren't quite there yet. Like if they were this decayed, I just feel like they'd have more mold on them. So that's when I take the white and the green. Um, yeah, and dab that on. They still look really cool here though. So I'm just taking white acrylic paint and green acrylic paint that I got at Michael's for like a dollar. I'm just putting them on different ends of a crappy container that I don't care about and then using a really cheap um, sponge thing that I got at the dollar store to dab it on. And just make sure like less paint is more so you really don't want that much on your brush. You almost want to kind of dry brush this onto your pumpkin. So I started with doing white on all of the pumpkins and then I go in and add all the green to all the pumpkins and only in certain areas just to really highlight the moldy section. And here I'm just going in with the green now, just in certain sections. And remember, you're gonna put the paint on and it's gonna look really bright, but as it dries, it's gonna start to dull. So if you put it on and you're like, holy shit, that's really white or that's really green, wait till it dries and then kind of decide if you wanna go over it with black or not because it does fade as, as it dries. So that's just something to keep in mind.
And here's how my creepy pumpkins turned out. I think they turned out really cool. I think some faces you can see a bit easier than others and that might be due to where I put the saran wrap, but I still think it's really cool. And you can definitely still tell they're pumpkins, so I think that it just looks like some of them are more decayed than others, so I'm super pumped with how it turned out. Okay guys, so this is how they turned out. Here's my favorite one. I think it's the easiest to tell that it's a pumpkin, like a jack-o'-lantern. If you do use the saran wrap, I will say don't put it around the eyes or the mouth because it makes it, like covering it, because it makes it harder to tell that it's a jack-o'-lantern. So some of my other pumpkins look like really decayed because it's hard to tell that there's a face on it, but I don't actually mind that because it kind of gives that like more decayed feel, but this one like from a distance you can still tell that it's like a rotting jack-o'-lantern pumpkin thing. I will say in some spots I think I went a bit heavy handed with the white and the green and so I might go over and just with like a black uh, paint and a little sponge thing and just go over and darken some of these, but overall I still think that they turned out pretty cool. I would definitely do this again. It's really not that difficult. Um, it took me two days to do it, but that's because I had a weird work schedule. Normally this would just take like one day to complete. But yeah, let me know down below if you guys enjoyed this video, if you thought this was cool. Definitely go give Monster Tutorials a follow. I'll link his channel down below and his social media stuff because I will definitely be following him this Halloween season to see what all good stuff he's going to put out. And yeah, I 10 out of 10 do recommend this craft. It is super fun and turned out really cool. So yeah, I'm digging it. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Follow me on my social media if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs>